What's up guys? It is Tim and Anna and Jacob and Brian's over there. Hey Brian. Anyway, uh, we are at the shop today. We're getting some progress done, getting some work done on the place, moving forward as always. I've got my good buddy Jacob. He's a expert uh, machinist, mechanic, carpenter extraordinaire. So anyway, uh, today we're going to put up some frames for the walls, some studs and such. So anyway, um, went to Harbor Freight, figured we'd do a quick review while we're at it. Bought this Banks framing nailer. The thing's huge. Look, gigantic. Anna, hold this for uh, hold this for size reference. Look at that. Anna, what's your thoughts of the nail gun just right out of the box? What do you think? Um, it's heavy. It is heavy. And I don't know the what, product. How, how to hold it, what to do with it. You're doing great. Heavy's good, right? Anyway, we're going to try that out today. And then my uh, my air compressor valve on my air compressor at home messed up, so I bought this cheap little air compressor, $55 open box item. Normally they're only $69 anyway. It's a, uh, we got a McGraw three gallon air compressor straight from Harbor Freight. You got the 110 maximum PSI. As you can see, it does uh, 0.6 SCFM at 90 PSI. So I mean, the flow rate's fine for what we're doing with a nail gun, but yeah. And of course we've got our uh, two and a half inch nails here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. And this is the 28 degree uh, nail gun. I don't, the difference between a 28 degree and like a 30 degree, I don't really, I don't know. It's the angle of the fedangle. So anyway, uh, we're <laughs> right. All right, so I got Jacob helping me because he knows more about this stuff than I do. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. There we go. We got some adjustment with the lighting. So anyway, what we've done so far in the last video, you saw the bathroom had like a wall that was all messed up. We have taken the wall out. I did not record it. We were busy, we were sweaty, it was hot, and uh, it was dark outside. But as you can see, we did get in here. We noticed we had a, uh, had a little termite damage going on. There were some live termites on this. Of course, the building itself is metal, so we're not too worried about it. Jacob got in here, ripped all this crap out for us. We do have a vent pipe in the way, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna box this in with some one by sixes. And we'll have like a little column in the middle of the bathroom. It might be weird, but we're gonna give it a shot. So yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna extend the bathroom. It's currently six foot this way and five foot deep. So we're gonna go and bring it down another five feet. So that'll be ten by six, and then we're gonna do a little shop bathroom that will be like five by six. I think it'd be enough room for a corner shower, toilet, stuff like that. So anyway, we got a stack of two by fours, two by sixes. So I want to see how this nail gun does in this air compressor. Hey, Brian. Brian, we're filming. I guess we'll plug in the, the air tank and see what happens. Maybe we won't blow a breaker. Jacob's the expert, we'll let him. How loud's it gonna be? Louder than that. Not too bad, I guess. I got enough air hose we can put it outside. Okay, it's pretty loud, although I expected it. It's air compressor and it's cheap. Like I said, they're like 69 bucks. This was open box item for $55. As long as it comes on, then I'm good. This is supposed to be one you don't have to oil but the, uh, the nail gun you're supposed to oil. I tend to forget to do that, so we'll see. Okay, so it took what, probably about four minutes. It got aired all the way up. So the tank itself, it's gonna stop at 110 PSI. So if you look right here, so you get your tank pressure and your tool pressure. So this is how much air pressure is actually in the tank itself. This is how much is in your supply line. This is the, uh, this is the amount of air that's actually in the line running to the tool that you've hooked up. So if you adjust this knob up a little bit, we'll increase our pressure. And what you wanna do is set, like for the nail gun, it's supposed to be at 90 PSI. So you want to make sure this is 90 whenever this is 110. So that assures you that even on a full tank, this will not go above the maximum specified pressure. Raise hell, praise Dave. Raise hell, praise Dave. No, no, no. no raise no, hell. No, number three. Number three. Number three. three for raise hell, praise Dale. Raise hell, praise Dale. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna build some walls. It's gonna it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Okay. So um, oh hold on, I need to do the test fire on the record here. Hold on. Go. Did a test uh, a test. What did you call it? Test fire. Did a test fire with it. So the uh, the tank pressure only went down about like five or ten pounds after a couple of them. So. Here, hey. Uh, here, hey. Uh, on the three gallon tank, using the nail gun twice, moved the needle like 10 pounds. And uh, now the tank's on its side. Guys, come on. Durability test. 
<laughs> Durability <laughs> test. Thank you, Jake. It's this is this is what yeah, this is what we're working with here. So I'm tossing it to you. I got it, brother. We're gonna crinkle it. If it'll survive this, I'm then, then I'll recommend it. it. So far, the uh, the nail gun and the compressor are doing good. It does have to kick on. Like, how often would you say it's kicking on? Every ten? Yeah, just like every ten nails or so, it will have to kick on. So I mean, it's it's doing good with the three gallon tank. That's that's pretty decent amount of reserve for what we're doing. Got one wall done. All right, let's do some more. So we, uh, we just finished up our project for the day. Got some walls framed up, probably did a hundred or so nails with this thing. Never had any jams, never had any misfires or any problems with it at all. Now this is the Banks air nailer, uh, framing nailer. I got a Harbor Freight. They're like a hundred bucks. If you're a member, you get $10 off, so they're $89 right now. I'd say it worked out good and the little three gallon air compressor worked fine. No problems with it either. It didn't have to kick on a whole lot for this thing. But uh, yeah, held up to the test, at least for today. We're gonna get back on this project some more this week. Once again, I appreciate all you guys that are already subscribed. If you're not subscribed, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified of future videos. And we will see you next time. Subscribe. Big shout out to Jacob for knowing how to construction stuff. So thank you, Jacob. Well,